Welcome to Chewing the Cud. We are here through the wilderness. Somehow we made it through, bringing you weekly roundup of showbiz news, fun stories from the internet, and even a life lesson. Now it's time to say hello to the man who hasn't got a clue what Madge song I was referring to. It's Mike. I, I completely understand Like a Virgin, touched for the very first time. Oh, good. Yes, because it was my soundtrack for a little while. Not a very long time, I grant you, but it was a little while. Like, I, a, like half a day? Well, I'll, between the ages of 18 and 18 and three days, yeah. OK, that's yeah. good. Yeah, nice. Well, I've been reaching for the stories of the internet, climbing every mountain higher, and I've come up with a few goodies this week, including how to get the sack in a high-flying career. And I have some ring-stingingly hot showbiz news, including a story about a Hollywood celebrity who has managed to claw back his pre-COVID body. You can keep in touch with us on all the usual social media, at The Cud TV. Our website is at thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us as a podcast, search for Chewing the Cud. If you've interacted with us on social media, then have a look. You may see your name flying along the bottom of the screen right now. Right, I'm going to tell your mum on you. Why? Because I know you're cheating every time we play. Game of the Week. The producer has started dating one of the rowers taking part in next year's boat race. He says he's looking forward to kissing the cocks of the Cambridge crew. So while he limbers up for that, he's given us a new game to play called Flat Pack or Fake. All we have to do is identify whether these items appear in IKEA catalogues around the world or whether they're the spawn of our producer's warped mind. Should we get the first one up? Oh, please. So is it a flat pack or a fake alarm? What, that's what, that's... That's what it's called. Okay. Or not called. Not called. Alarm. Alarm. Doesn't sound very ikea -y, that, though, does it? Well, there's no umlauts on there anyway. No, there's not, none of those little dots over the umlauts. word. Yeah. Umlauts. 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 They were calling me numnuts, then. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go with <laughs> that it, it's not true. Okay, I, I think it is a thing. Oh. I think it's probably bedding. Bedding and yeah. alarm. Alarm bedding. Alarm bedding. Mm -hmm. For when you wee yourself. I don't often wee myself in bed. Shall we have a look? <laughs> it is a thing. Oh! Like, yeah, thing. Is that what it is at the side? No, it's just no, a picture. No, it's just a picture. It's just self-assembly. Do we not know what it is? No. No. <laughs> it's a thing from Ikea. Oh, OK. Yes. I would have liked to have known, but you know. <laughs> Whatever. OK, let, let, let's, bring, let's bring the next one up. This is an arsis. An arsis. 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 I don't know what that is. Who did that? Uh, Father Ted. Was it Father Ted? Arse. Fat Arse. Girls. Oh, yes. Drink. Yes. I thought it was like a fast show one. Arse. No, Father Ted. No, it is a fast show because he coughs. Arse. No. It's okay. I don't think it is from Ikea. Um, I don't either because because the other one was, was right, and this one isn't. Oh, we see. We see, we were right there. We were right. Yeah. Mm. OK, so should we have a look at the next one, then? Please. Hmm. Bumol. Bumol. <laughs> Bumol. Uh, <laughs> I tried to put a bit of an accent on it. Bumol. Bumol. <laughs> Bumol. It's, if you put it in a brummy, a Bumol. Bumol. I've come for some Bumols. <laughs> um, <laughs> You've said that before. I, uh, yeah. I would probably think that you can get a bumhole mm -hmm. in an Ikea. <laughs> they, they tend to be in walls about halfway down, don't they? Mm. Mm -hmm. In the toilets. I hope you're fishing food out the side of the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, I'm not getting aroused by it. <laughs> um, yes, I, I think you can too pick up a bumhole in Ikea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see if, let's see if we are it. correct. Oh, it's oh, fake. You can't and I a needed bumhole. a new bumhole. I've heard. Mmm. <laughs> Sick of dragging this one round. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the next one is prolapse, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, okay, let's have another. Let's have another one. Oh well, that that that's just insulting. That is jabber. Jabber. That's directed at me, isn't it? That jabber. Is it? Yeah, that's what they shout when I go in. <laughs> 
What, the show Jabba? Yeah, oh, Jabba, no bum holes for you. Get out. Um, <laughs> Did they not start with Mr. Loverman? <laughs> Mr. Loverman, Jabba. <laughs> Oh, bit of 90s musical history there, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I think you can get a Jabber in Ikea. Jabber. Jabberwocky. Or the hut. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, like, you no, know, I don't think you can. No, okay. No. Let's see. Can you get a Jabber? Can I get a Jabber in the house? Oh, you can. Ooh. But you see, I want to know what it is now. <laughs> There's no point doing this quiz if we don't know what it is. It's, I'll have to, you know, have to tell me I have to go to Ikea and look for a jabber. You will. Oh, can, you, can you not do it on the yes. tinternet? <laughs> the tinter web. The magic box in front of you. No, they're not doing it No, in the UK. we don't know what it is. I think it's a wardrobe from the looks of what else it's brought up. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Should we have a look at another one? Go, go for it. See if we can it. get what it is. <laughs> Jerker. <laughs> um, no. No? No, if they don't have bum holes, they're not going to have a jerker. You see, I, I know that they've had a slut in Ikea before now. A what? Slut, S-L-U-T. Slut? Yeah. Oh, OK. So they might have a, a jerker. So. Oh, ja oh apparently we've got a, a clothes hanger is a jabber. A jabber is a clothes hanger. Oh, OK. Is it wire? Do we know? OK, it's plastic, not wire, so it's oh, not a wire hanger. Is it one of those that has the pegs attached to it and you just hang your socks off it? Yeah. Your thongs. My thongs. Not mm -hmm. a thong. What? Anyway. Anyway, So, yeah. jerker. Uh, jerker. Um, <laughs> jerker, I think, is a thing. I don't think there's a jerker. I think there's a, many jerkers in, in Ikea. Should we have a look? Particularly in the soft furnishing section. <laughs> oh, it is Ikea? true. Yeah. Oh. You can get a jerker in Ikea. Yeah. Mmm. I don't have anything to say about that. <laughs> I don't even know. Where, where are we point-wise? Do we even know? Do we even care? Oh. So that was three points to me, non-tally, which is why he's not said anything. No. <laughs> he's, not, he's not celebrating. He's going, oh. <laughs> um, 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 should we have another one? Saw. You see, now that makes me think it might be true because it's got the two little, what did you say? They umlaut. Were umlauts on umlaut. it. Umlauts on it. Um, okay. I don't think you can get sore in Ikea. Not if there's enough lubricant. <laughs> That's a hurdy flirty curdy. <laughs> <laughs> it just slides right in. Um, That's what the gravy's for on the meatballs, isn't it? Ooh. Bit of lingonberry sauce. Oh. Oh, just on the tip. Um, <laughs> Oh, anyway, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with yes. Yeah, no, I don't think it is. You don't think it is? No. Nope. Let's see if there's a... Uh, uh, it is Ikea. Oh, finally you got a point. Well done. Yeah, I can't even remember what the word was, actually. It just took me took me on a tangent. What was it? Saw. Saw. Mm-hmm. You can pick... You can get saw in Ikea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you have to ask for it, and a, and a little puppet on a bike brings it out. Really? Mm-hmm. You've never seen the Saw films. No, I have. Oh, you have. It just, was not, it just wasn't funny in the slightest. Just dre not even dressed in a tiny Ikea uniform. <laughs> See, that'll be That's a bit funny. Would you like to play a game? Find your package? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Find the code for this cushion. <laughs> Before it chops your head off. Exactly. Um, <laughs> let's do one more. Ooh. Oh, sensual. Oh, sensual. Sensual. Well, I don't know if you can buy it, but I always feel that when I go in Ikea. <laughs> is this why you've been banned from many Ikeas? Yeah. Little pencils, isn't it? Yeah. It's surprising how many you can fit. Fit where? In your pocket. In your pocket? You're stealing mm. pencils from Ikea? Yeah. I think they've removed all the pencils because of Rona. Oh. Yeah. I, don't know, I, I do mine on the app. Oh, how modern. I know. I do mm. it all on the... Boop, 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 oh, OK. And then go eat meatballs. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, back to the actual <laughs> thing. Actual question. Qu a question. So, do we think do we think that's sensual? Yes. Sensual. I'd like to think that it's like a range sort of um, designed by Bjork. And it would be Bjork's <laughs> big time. <laughs> I'm going to do it. <laughs> Bjork's big time sensual. Atty. 
<laughs> that is that is that is the that is just the highlight of every of 150 shows. That. Uh, so let, um, <laughs> I'm going to go no. No, I, I think that sensual you can get at IKEA. You can get sensual at IKEA. Yeah. Oh, it is. It is, yeah. Oh. So should we get the scores then? Yeah, let's get the scores. Four one to me. Oh. So once again, I win. Well, just for now, you've won. Oh, for today I've won. For today you've won, yeah. but in life, I'm still a winner. Generally not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not long now until we bring you a very special life lesson. But before we get into all of that, we have Lee with the showbiz news. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now let's see if we have any new dead celebrity gossip from Lee. So, when you're saying dead showbiz, do you mean like legitimately dead, as in buried, or dead to me? Dead and buried. Dead and buried. Because we, we know that you have a, a slight partial for the deceased. Um, like you, you dressed as Michael Jackson today. Are you referring to my shoulder epaulets? I, I am indeed talking about those those hideous things you've got in shoulders. I'm kind of going with the fact that um, I can't be bothered to go to the gym uh -huh. to exercise, so I'm just going to highlight areas <laughs> <laughs> that, that just take away the, the focus from okay. my face and from the rest of my body. So no tiaras then? That, that could be an option. We're only a couple of pounds away from that. <laughs> a couple of pounds away from open-toed sandals. Oh, That's what we're going with for. With socks? No, I'm going to paint my toes different colours. Okay. Toenails, not just the toes. <laughs> just the toes. Yeah. <laughs> just the toes. <laughs> going to leave the toenails, just paint the toes a different colour. Anyway, let's do some... <laughs> Let's do some showbiz news. Um, so, uh, oh, last year, I think it was, we spoke about Spitting Image coming back. Yeah, we To did. the television boxes. Oh, cool. um, and it has arrived. Ooh. So, um, Spitting Image has started... Uh, Spitting Image? That was quite aggressive, wasn't it? The well, it was, yeah. I don't For know you, what especially. Yeah. yeah, it was. Um, so, it has returned. It's on something called BritBox, mm -hmm. which is another streaming platform. Yeah. Um, so, they have got... All the people that you would expect, so like Donald Trump, Boris Johnson, Meghan Markle, Piers Morgan, hundreds and hundreds of, uh, of people. Mm. We've got some pictures of Ooh. some of the new puppets. So, who would, you, who would you say this is? Prince Charles. Yes. And Mariella Fostrop. Oh, close. Yeah. That, that is, in, in fact, Camilla. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so obviously the royal family feature quite heavily mm -hmm. in, in the new spitting moment. Do 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 It wouldn't be spitting image without the the politicians. So mm -hmm. here we have um, we have Boris Johnson. Um, How come they've made him look more human in the spitting image than in it's real literally, life? It's literally that. It's literally like a photograph of himself. He looks like an actual person. In that yeah. Moment. Yeah. Um, now this is what this is one for the kids. We've got. Would you know who this is? Uh, it's Billy Eilish. Billy Eilish. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I. Yeah. The clip that they have her in is not very. Well, they're not. You're not going to be on speed image, and they're going to do a nice skit of you. No, they're not. Not pleasant. Not pleasant. She's yeah. kind of just sat in a huge chair going. <laughs> and that's it. She doesn't enunciate well, does Billy no, Eilish? No. no. Just just her on a chair mumbling. Um, this has to be my favourite one okay. that we've got now. Uh, it's that How Greta woman, isn't it? How dare you? <laughs> it's, it's Greta. Uh, there was a bit of controversy of whether they should have her because okay. she's a child, technically. Um, she's not 18 yet? I think she's like 16, 17, something like that. Mm. Um, so, yeah, but they kind of like said, you know, she's a political figure. Um, let's Let's... Put her out there. It does make me laugh because it, yeah. it looks so much like it her. It does look like her. Yeah. Um, and then we, the, the, so the, there has been controversy with their choices. Okay. We have um, a picture here of their version of um, Ed Sheeran. Okay. Now, somebody in the gallery said, have they just taken the old Mick Hucknall uh, puppet <laughs> yeah. and cut the dreadlocks off? Um, no, it is. It is, it is the, the, the problem with it is, is that they put. Um, like leaves coming out of his head okay um so that he looked like a carrot um okay. reference to the fact that 
he's red haired. All right. Um, and people didn't like that. They, they thought it was, it was too far. It was too far. Too far. So, put, put the child on that's got Asperger's so, and make fun of her. <laughs> <laughs> put that carrot top on there and we're not happy. Don't put leaves on the top of someone that's Ginger's head. Yeah. That's a puppet. Yeah, it, it didn't go down well. So they've, okay. they've kind of rejigged that so that... Which kind of defeats the object of spitting image. It's kind of like you're supposed it's, to... It's supposed to slightly offend. Yeah, if you're into that kind of... It's worth it just to kind of have a laugh mm -hmm. at what they do with, with the celebrities. A little bit sort of more kind of um, highbrow now. More highbrow than culture. puppets. More highbrow than, <laughs> than puppets, rubber puppets. We've got a new film coming out called Supernova. Oh, and that one, isn't it? Supernova. It's not a space film. Oh. No, it's a touching gay romantic life story type Aww. film. And it's got Colin Firth and Stanley. Do we, do we say Tookie, Tootsie, Tucky? Do we say any of those? No idea. <laughs> 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 what are we trying to say? Well, however you say his name, to, uh -huh. to, I'm going to say Tucky. Tucky. But I don't think it is. Okay. Um, so they play um, partners of 20 years. Okay. Stanley took his um, Tucko, uh, whatever he's called. Stan. I'm just going to say Stan. Stan. And Stan's character know, Stan. um, develops um, Alzheimer's dementia. All right. And um, what they want to do is to try and kind of like go on a road trip to kind of create memories before the, the illness gets to a point where you can't remember. I have watched the trailer and, and it, it's, it's a boo-hoo film. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's going to be released on the 27th of November. Um, and I think it's going to the cinemas here. Okay. Um, which a lot of films aren't going to cinema, they're going straight to streaming services, but it's, yeah. it's going to or, be released. Or they're to just going to cinema in two, three years. Yeah. Mm. How, so, nice film. Looks nice. Yeah. Um, apparently, there is a new term for gentlemen, homosexual gentlemen uh -huh. of a certain age. Okay. So you got your daddies. Yeah, and dilfs. And dilfs. Uh -huh. So you can now have a zaddy. Z a double d y. A zaddy. A zaddy. A zaddy is a fine, handsome, and sexy ass intelligent man that makes you smile and drip every time that you see him. Smells good, looks good, and is good. That's a zaddy. So they're saying that Stanley Tucky is a is a zaddy. I'm right. I'm I'm slightly. A, a, I, I'd have a go. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the zaddy idea. Oh, zaddy. No. It's Sounds like you've got a list when you're trying to say daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not sexy. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> but we're, we're both of an age now where getting a daddy would be quite difficult. Yeah. You know, unless I'd be just going for like a little pot with ashes in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pushing it around in a pram. Um, so, <laughs> or so, a very old tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> a mummy from the museum. Um, so <laughs> they're saying, <laughs> they're saying that Stanley would be a zaddy, but I'm not so sure about Colin. Colin Firth. We've got a picture okay. of, of, of Colin in as, as Mr. Darcy from um, the 1980s. Mr. Darcy film. <laughs> from Pride, Pride and Prejudice. Prejudice. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm not, not so. Well, I was never a massive fan into Colin Firth. Do you know what? I, know, I thought you said that I was never a massive fan of intercourse. And I was like, oh, really? Has this gone off a completely different tangent? Well, that's a lie. That's clearly a lie. That's why I was a little bit shocked. Bit more showbiz news. Now, this, this might be up more up your alley. Are you a Channing Tatum fan? Oh, well, yes. Ooh. Did you know that he's 40? Huh? He's 40. He is indeed. He is he's 40. just a little bit older than me. Slightly older than you, yeah. So, so he has become an author. Oh. And he's written a children's book. And it's called The One and Only Sparkella. Okay. And we have a picture. Now, this isn't a picture of me oh. in the garden, which you would be mistaken of thinking immediately, oh, Lee, you, you've taken a snapshot of you in the garden. That's actually him. Well, with a number of unicorns around, that yeah, would be Yeah, it first is thing, literally me arms, only. I can quite clearly tell a chain Tatum's <laughs> arms. Yeah. The One and Only Sparkella is dedicated to his daughter. Uh -huh. And um, it's all about father-daughter relationship with lots of sparkles. Um, okay. It's about Ella, who is a little girl, uh -huh. who loves glitter and rainbows and all things sparkly. To be fair, I think he's just written a story about me. Mm. I think it's his way of, well, of mean, reaching out. I mean, to be fair, he did do, like, three movies about me. Magic Mike. Oh, oh, he did, yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Mine is more convincing. It's coming out soon this year, possibly early next year. But he's not only going on about his book, he's going on about his book writing. Okay. He's going on about his, he's been on a health kick. Yeah. So like most of us, i.e. all of us, mm -hmm. he put on a few pounds during lockdown. Okay, I'm okay so, with that. So um, he has, has decided that he was going to get his Magic Mike body back. I'm so okay with that too. He's managed that. Take a moment. I'm taking two. Mm. So he, what he well, this was his this was his tweet. He said, "Been on a, low, a long road back. Injuries, life, insanity in general. Ha! Daddy's finally back. Boo! Gonna be here for the next ten years. To all that have been there for me and held me down, love ya. Gonna make you proud. He doesn't. His spelling's not very good. He's he's an. He calls himself Daddy. Yeah. Let's go okay um, <laughs> and peep the Purell. Keep it clean out there, folks. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Yeah. When's he leaking his nudes? I don't. I, I don't. He prob they're probably out there already. They're not. Mm, they're not. Have you looked? Yes. Oh. Okay. Um, well, you know, you take take that picture home with you. Add it to your bank, um, and we'll catch up next week on some more showbiz news. Well, thank you very much for that, Lee. It's always interesting to find out what other people do when they're in downtime. Before we learn, learn something, it's Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the man who is such a bottom that he's become a top. It's Mike in the Buzz. Don't bottom shame me, Lee. It's not big, it's not clever. Anyway, talking about things that aren't big and clever, I've been searching around the internet to find lots of little things to make you smile, to make oh, you titter. Oh, yes. nice. And the first one that I found is of a hotel room that has uh, that's come out. A <laughs> hotel room has come out. Well done! <laughs> <laughs> Hope you live your authentic life. Yes. Um, <laughs> it has come out as a massive fan of the Terry's Chocolate Orange. The hotel room has, has come out as a massive fan of the <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm going to keep going with it. You made, a, you made a point of it, so I'm going to keep going. Um, yes, you can now stay in the world's first chocolate orange inspired hotel room. Ooh. How do you feel about that? Um, it, it, you know, it's all very well looking like a chocolate uh -huh. orange, unless there is like unlimited supplies of chocolate they orange do. in there. Oh. They do have lots of chocolate oranges to eat as okay, well. Okay, that's okay. But yeah, it's got a, a lovely um, colour scheme. It's all yellows and oranges and blues, just mm. like the, the Is that chocolate a Christmas tree? Itself. It is a chocolate orange Christmas tree. Oh, nice. Yeah. And there's a chocolate orange tree in there, and the, behind the bed there's a fan. Of, of segments. A segment? Segment. Does it have a bee day and, and warm chocolate orange squirts out? <laughs> it's a bee day, that's probably not a good idea, is it? <laughs> You're thinking about putting your face in a bee day, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I refer to my face as. Um... <laughs> it's your face. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Oh. Now I know what you mean by saying, oh, sh <laughs> me face all night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Would you not want to stay there? Yeah. How much is it? <laughs> <laughs> Normal hotel room price. Normal hotel Normal room. hotel room price. And it's in France, in Paris. Oh, okay. So you get to go over there and go wee wee. Oh, okay. <laughs> Does it, is, it just, is it just like a normal hotel with a single chocolate orange? They have just the single. Oh, room so it's moment. not, they don't have like a whisper room. <laughs> Carabac Car room. Yeah. <laughs> Sherbet fountain. Or a bit up for a Sherbet Fountain. Really. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that fizzy, fizzy. Yeah. So it's, it, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> the, the gallery's saying popping candy. Uh, they, they reminded of the last time we spoke about popping oh, candy. Oh, the, yeah. In yeah. the... Yeah. No. No, not no. the one. Uh, but they have said that if it's, if it's successful, they will do more um, rooms like that. Okay. So, yeah, you could now stand, spend your night surrounded by chocolate orange. Mm. Legitimately rather than... Legitimately rather than... At night, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, now, this one's a little bit rude. <gasps> and that's a shocking, shocking mm. one. Um, as they've had to do a product recall of something called a Cellmate. Okay. Okay. Which is a, an app-controlled chastity belt. 
And what's happened is that they've um, they found out that it can be hacked. And because it is app controlled, you can just get locked in it forever. Forever? Forever. Because it's a trusted device, so it's to stop you playing with yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and it's controlled by an app. Mm -hmm. And you turn it off, and you can unlock it and lock it. Mm -hmm. But when it's been hacked, you can't unlock it again. Ever again? Ever again. Ever? Yep, so you'd be trapped in there forever. Okay. How do you do the wee wees then? Well, it's got a hole in the bottom so your wee wees can come out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's got a hole, it's always got a hole at the bottom, right? But then once it's been locked, the only way to remove it is with an angle grinder. Firstly? Yeah, huh? Why would you want to have a chastity belt on in the first place? Well, it, it's a, a couple's thing. So okay, please explain. The other person can, can control your enjoyment, as it were. So it's a control thing. Like Does it stop you getting a boner? Yeah, yeah, because you're you ca encased in plastic. Well, what stops you from getting a hard-on? The fact it's encased in plastic, so as, it's, as you get excited, there's only so much room in which to grow. Okay, well, you don't just stick out. No, because it's, it's, you're encased. Encased? Encased with a hole at the bottom for your pee-pee to come Oh, out. okay. Oh, it's a strange world, isn't it? It is, but some people enjoy that sort of thing. Okay. Yeah. So you, 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 you'd lob your lob your cock in that, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> lock it up, uh -huh. and just pray that nobody can hack into it to stop it from staying on your Johnson forever. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Other, other options are available. <laughs> How has the have the uh, production company recognised that that's an issue? They have, and they have <laughs> they have been working on the issue since the beginning of the year. Oh, are there people walking around with their tallywhacker well, still in? No, because in they've they've all been um, grinded off, removed. Oh, wow. Okay, d d so well, okay. I don't, I have no no, no nothing else questions. to say with that. It's just very bizarre <laughs> it's, to me. Okay. Yes. Yes. So there's some very naughty people out there with, with apps and hacking and mm. stopping and getting it out. I think we should move on a little bit. Yeah, let's go. Let's move um, on. To, uh, the news about um, two people be being caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing while working. 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 <laughs> so while you're in the office, yes. right, imagine two people having a bit of intimate fun time together in the office. In the office. Yeah. yeah. A little bit naughty, isn't it? Yeah. What if that office was a cockpit? Pardon? Yes. Is this like a reference to like what you call your office? No, no, no. The cockpit. This, this is this is the the front of a plane. Where oh. The sit. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. So two United Airlines pilot and their co-pilot have been fired for having loud sex together during a flight. Well, you you know you'd keep it quiet, wouldn't you? If you were going to do it. <laughs> Keep it quiet. Shh. Shh. <laughs> You'll wake the autopilot up. <laughs> um, well, it, they were, it was discovered by one of the um, flight attendants. Oh, when she was bringing their chicken or beef in? When, when, they, when they were walking past and heard some commotion coming from it. Oh. Um, including the phrase, do it harder, Daddy. Because at first they thought they were being hijacked. Oh. Because <laughs> of the By a daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, until they basically went, oh, that's sexy noises. Oh, okay. sexy. So were these, was it a man and a lady, or was it two men? Or was two it... men. Two men, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you, you're up that high up, what else, you know, what else is there to do? Well, you're up that high, you might as well get it up. Exactly. And put it in. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so did they get fired then? They've been fired from their jobs. Could, I mean, to be fair, that's legitimate. If you're flying a plane, you need to keep your eye on what you're doing. Why? It's not like you're going to, to like fly into something in thirty thousand feet. It's all well, sky. Well, one would imagine. Well, if that's the case, then don't have pilots. <laughs> don't have anybody in the plane. Well, autopilot, set... autopilots do fly most of the journey on mm. planes. They only have pilots there just in case the autopilot fails. Yeah, but I'd, I'd feel more comfortable, more safe, if the pilot was paying attention. I, I'd feel more more relaxed and safe if the pilot is relaxed. Mm. Unless I could have gone and watched. Yeah. Then. So you did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tea, coffee, me. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, would you like some nuts, sir? <laughs> <laughs> would you like some warm nuts? Um, oh, okay. Um, did when they landed, did they all get a round of applause? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, it's only the British that do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like I've landed a plane. <laughs> well done, well done, well done. Yeah. Physics has worked again, everybody. <laughs> you didn't crash us and I only had fornication in the cockpit. Yay! No. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> and if something catches your eye on the internet, why not share it with us? Just look for the CUD TV on all your social platforms. We were thrilled this week to receive an email from a Mrs. Belinda Mycock, who writes... Dear Chewing the Cud, Did I tell you I first saw my husband Pat when I was doing a backflip? I fell for him head over heels. Mrs. Belinda Mycock. So yeah, that's, that's one way of finding someone, I suppose. Bit of acrobatics. She showed him a secret smile, didn't she? <laughs> a secret smile? Yeah. Only shows it only for you. Um, I <laughs> don't get it, do you? No, um, my parents had that at the wedding. <laughs> Ooh, awkward. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, the story of the week comes from um, the Daily Mirror. Oh, because that's the a factual <laughs> yes. representation. Exactly. I do, I do like to find a wide variety of different mm. places. Um, and this is about a barrister who had an offensive number plate who has turned around and said, tough poo if you can work it out. L-G-O-P-N-R. On the back of his sports car. What do you think that stands for, Lee? L-G-O... Yeah, P-N-R. I don't know. Leg opener. OK. So it's barrister believed that his um, Lamborghini was a way of getting into the ladies' pants. Um... Yeah. Um, Men that have Lamborghinis tend to have very small penises. I've, I've, I've been with a man in a Lamborghini with a very large member. <laughs> he was told that, you know, it's an offensive number play, you have to get rid of it, you bring the, the profession into disrepute. And he said, well, if you can work it out, your mind's just as bad as mine. <sighs> you know, if kids saw it, would they see it or would they say something about Lego? Would they even Lego? understand a leg opener? No. Yeah. It's not a particularly sexy thing to say, is it, no, really? No, it's not. It's why it's an offensive number plate rather than a sexy mm. number plate. My number plate says WAP. What, what's, what, what's WAP stand for? Wireless Application Protocol. Thanks, Mike. Don't even think about making a brew. As coming up, we have our life lesson. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time for this week's life lesson and we're doing something a little bit special this week. We have been allowed out into the community. Life Lessons. For some reason we're here in a cold car park and it's raining. It's peddling down. I'm not happy about this at all. No, I melt if it get too wet. Do you? Yeah. I've heard that about it's you. a wicked yeah. world. <laughs> yes. Oh look, the producer's here. Oh, the mysterious producer. Ooh, maybe, you... maybe you can get him on camera. I don't know. He appears to have a length of something. Oh, he's got a present oh. for us. Oh. I like his bag. Yeah. Not sure why he had to have the um, the hump applied to his back, but never mind. Oh. So shall we see what we're doing? Let's have a look. You spend far too long sitting in the studio, and so this week all I want you to do is remain upright. Okay, I can just about do I that. I can do that if it wasn't yeah. for the amount of gin that yeah, I've had. If my yeah. spine doesn't curve too much, I'll, I'll be able to do it. Yeah. Hang on a minute. I've just noticed something behind you. Oh, oh no. <laughs> We've set up a scooter proficiency test. Oh, okay. Yeah. In order to show your personality, you're allowed to pimp your rides. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I'll take this one then. Okay, and I'll, I'll take the other one. You'll take the other Clearly, one. Clearly, because there's yeah. only two. There's only two. <laughs> <laughs> Sometime later.
So now we have pimped our rides, it is important that we look at safety first and we've got to make sure that we're wearing a suitable helmet. Budgets are tight. I've got mine ready. Oh, oh is, yes. that, is that a legal helmet? I, I, it, it's, it's padded in the middle. Okay. So it's got, so I've, my head's going to be protected by something. Mm-hmm. I feel sad yeah. for you. And it's a strap, it's got a strap. Okay. Sturdy strap, so I'll be fine. Okay. What about yours? Well, mine? Mm-hmm. One of a kind. Rainbow oh. colander. Oh, With well. a unicorn. And that's road legal as well, yeah? Yeah. But unicorn makes it go faster. Ah, okay. And safer. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. So we're all safe. Yeah. Uh, do we need to? Do we need to put them on though? I think we do need to put them on to be okay. safe. Yes. Right. Well, you, you first. Me first. Okay. I feel safer already. And slightly more gayer. More gayer. <laughs> yeah. Flubber lob. Flubber lob lob. There's a niche market for this. There is a very niche market mm. for this. Yes. I feel like a pet shop boy. Yeah, like a cut price version. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it said budgets are tight. Yeah. I think, I think... Are you attached? I think I'm attached. Task one. So our first task mm. is to see if we can ride in a straight line. Okay. I can't walk in a straight line, so this is going to be... Can't do anything straight, me. Very difficult. Okay. Well, we'll see. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> This is a straight line. Where is it going? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Where are the brakes? Oh, the brake is there. That's the important bit. Why is mine stopped? <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Take three. Wee! Oh, I'm going look a bit all the way round. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Task two. Task two. Mm. Can you ride in a circle? Can you? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. I think I'm wounded. <laughs> Lee nearly died and it was funny. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> task three. Next task. Mm. It's the obstacle course. Oh. Can you do it? I'm sure I can do better than you do in a circle. <laughs> Let's see. Oh! <laughs> Wide arc, wide arc. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, to stop it. Oh hi. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Task four. 
Are you ready to race, bitch? Don't call me that. But yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Three, two, one, go! go. So it was different, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, unique. Fun. Yes, I wouldn't go that far. No. Well, yeah, um, it's a proof to a lot of people because they don't think that we've got legs. No, they just think we're torso. Yeah, just sort of sat here attached to desks. Mm. Well, should we get our legs out for the people? Oh, go on then. Go on then. Oh, I'm gone. Let, let me slow away. Oh, me and Oh, I've broken my ankle. Oh. Well, look at that. Mm. Who would have thought that you would have such feminine legs? I know, it's a very, very And I would have such masculine legs. It's all me mod keep Yeah. Can't see me modesty that Ooh. way. But yeah. This is these 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 tr these trousers I wore when I was in the um, in the army. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, which, which platoon were you in? The um All of them apart apparently. <laughs> Oh, oh. Mm. yeah, <laughs> up, mag massive upper thigh strength, I uh -huh. have, yeah. Yeah, you could... yeah, look at them. Oh, like that. Oh, look at that. It's like, I can do press-ups with those. I can do, re you know. It's, it's all done in the best possible time. It is, it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. oh, oh. I ain't got <laughs> Need to get comfortable. Oh, there. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have legs. Ooh. We've come to the end of the show, for now. If you can't wait a week, you can always find us on the internet. Just search for The Cud TV on social media, thecud.tv for our website. And while you're on the website, have a look at the support section for exclusive clips. And like the last squashed loaf on the supermarket shelf, we've just enough time to show you our photo of the week, which comes from Mr. Chris P. Bacon, who lives in the USA. And he has sent us this. Dear Chewing the Cud, Following a recent storm, I was bent over in the garden weeding when from over the fence, my neighbor pointed out that she could see that my rosebud has been almost completely destroyed. Sincerely, Mr. Chris P. Bacon. Oh, that Ooh. looks infected. It's been ravaged. It has. Oof. Not good. No. Okay. Well, stay safe, everybody, and we will see you all next time. Bye! Legs akimbo!